Jesus said to his disciples, The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. The man who is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in great. If then you cannot be trusted with money, that faithful thing, who will trust you with genuine riches? And if you cannot be trusted with what is not yours, who will give you what is your very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think we can sort of agree that all of us have different motivations in doing the things that we do in life. We know within our hearts there are different motivations which drive us to do different things, whatever we do. For those of us who are students, we go to school with different motivations. Sometimes we want to impress our parents, we want to impress our friends, we want to do good for our future, and the same thing might happen with the teacher or with the nurses. We have different motivations. And perhaps the question that we struggle from time to time is this very question. Am I doing it for the right reasons? Am I doing it for the right reasons? And sometimes we just don't know the answer. We find it difficult to answer that question. Am I doing it for the right reasons? If, uh, if you have to do something, if we have to do something with our children as parents, sometimes you ask that question, am I doing this for my children's sake or for my own wishes? That's not always easy. It's not always easy. And then we have a lot of difficulty trying to answer that question. But over the past 10 days, over the past Days. We've been reflecting on a person whom we admire so much because her life personified a life that was dedicated, that was marked by a sense of duty, by a, sense of, uh, by a deep sense of devotion to her duty. And perhaps that can offer us a glimpse that answer to that difficult question. Am I doing it for the right reason? In the life of the late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth exemplified that. She did it out of duty, out of devotion, steadfastness, faithfulness to her duty. It doesn't always help us in deciding the right thing to do although the life was, was, was very good in that way. At least when we had the right intention in heart, it helped us. And I think the Gospel reading today exemplifies that, teaches us that, to do things with the right intention. Jesus said, you cannot be servant of two masters. You cannot have undivided loyalty. And a person with divided loyalties will create his or her own mess. We know that. If we have divided loyalties in our hearts, we dig our own mess. We create our own mess. The gospel is a stark reminder for us. Set, make sure you have the right intention. And do it out of devotion. So let us ask ourselves, 
again and again and again, every morning when we wake up, in each situation that we have in our life. Why am I here? What I do? Why am I doing what I do? Am I doing this for my own sake? For the sake of our, our neighbors? For the sake of God? Again, does not always help us. Find the right solution to the problems that we have. But when we do it with the right intention, it's easier, it becomes slightly easier to find what God wants from us in those situations. In fact, that is actually the teaching of St. Ignatius, the founder of the Jesuits. We Jesuits are known for our slogan or the most of finding God in all things. And St. Ignatius teaches us, if you want to find God in anything you do in life, make sure you have the right intention in your hearts. So let us check our hearts again. Find tuning with God. And ask God to really show us the way. And let us also pray for the new king. Because someone with his position, as in Santa Fe or the Queen, can inspire many of us to do the same. So, my brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves why am I doing what I'm doing? And we ask God to find you in our hearts. So we do what we do out of a desire to respond to His love. Respond to the generous love we have received from others. Bless us all.